All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So while we still don't know what his Extreme Z Awakening details will look like, we have learned about the required units for the Prime Battle LR Frieza's Extreme Z area event. And as it turns out, it is going to be very similar to the Prime Battle LR Goku's Extreme Z area where we need six specific units on our teams in order to challenge the event and get the Extreme Z Awakening medals. And it's not enough to just have these units, they all have to be fully Extreme Z Awakened and rainbowed, otherwise it's not going to work. So these units are the Prime Battle LR Super Saiyan Goku. This is the Dokkan Awakening for the free to play AGL Bardock from the Bardock Story event. And we're also getting a new Extreme Z area for his Extreme Z Awakening medals. And from there we have the Kaioken Goku from the Lord Slug event. We have the Namek Saga. Uh, Kid Gohan, and then AGL Piccolo, and finally, this is the Token Awakening for the Baba Shop STR Krillin, and I believe for his Extreme Z Awakening medals, they're also going to be available for purchase through the Baba Shop as well. So these are the six units we need for the Prime Battle Frieza's Extreme Z area, and uh, for veteran players, if you've been on top of things and you've been doing EZAs as they come out. It should be okay, it shouldn't be too bad, but for like newer players or people that have just been really lazy and haven't done any of these guys, uh, you've got your work cut out for you, man. I mean, these five units shouldn't be too bad. It might take like a couple hours or so, but this Goku, man. Okay, the Goku alone is probably going to take you... I mean, it depends like how far along you are, but... Just for his awakening, right, from uh, SSR to TUR to LR, it's going to take like 3-4 hours of grinding, and then if you're going to be getting him to SA20 without Kai's, then that's even more, right? And, uh, oh, actually SA25, so, oh my god, this grind's going to be crazy. And that's just awakening him, right? There's also the Extreme Z awakening, the Extreme Z area for the Goku, that also requires 6 other free to play units, all fully Extreme Z Awakened and rainbowed. So if you haven't done those guys yet, then that's also another huge grind to Extreme Z Awaken this guy and then get all these other guys done. And then you also have to do the Frieza himself, right? Like Awaken him, SA20 him, all that good stuff. So uh, I can easily see this being like a, I don't know, like a 30 to 40 hour process. I haven't really done the math, but it seems like it's gonna be a huge pain, luckily. Um, for me personally, I pretty much have at least all the ones on Global that are available done now, so it's not going to be as painful, but uh, yeah, it's going to it's gonna be a lot of work. I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it because I do suspect, I do expect this Frieza um, to be absolutely broken once this Extreme Z Awakening is, is done, but uh, yeah. It's going to take a while. So good luck to everybody. Hopefully you are already like somewhere along the way. You already got like most of these guys done. But uh, if not, then then have fun. Hey, at the very least, it's something to do. To, something to do. It's going to be some content to grind. So I guess it's not all bad either way. But uh, there you go, guys. Those are the requirements for the Frieza. All six guys have to be fully Extreme C Awakened once again and also rainbowed. So it's also going to be quite a bit of orbs um, that are required for the investment of like, you know, the hidden potential system, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, actually the, the Piccolo and the Gohan have their own orbs, right? I think they do, but everybody else will require normal orbs. So that's also a thing. And uh, is there anything else I'm missing? I want to make sure I get all the information in here. Oh, one other thing is that apparently... According to Goresh, it does say in here that the Frieza will be getting a adjustment to his 18 key super attack. Now he did make a distinction between adjustment and update, which is what they said for the Majin Vegeta as well as the uh, Int LR Gohan. So what he thinks is that it's not going to be, you know, a an update like a like a new uh, super attack, but rather just kind of minor tweaks, right? Like maybe they might change a few little things here and there that are not super noticeable, or they might just give him more high quality assets, like HD assets, like what they did with uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, as well as Fizz LR Bardock. Obviously we'll have to see 
you know the final product to really judge like how big of a difference there is but it's most likely not gonna be a brand new super attack honestly i don't think his 18 key super looks that bad obviously it's not amazing but the prime battle goku didn't get an updated super attack or a new super attack when he got his extreme c awakening so it just doesn't really make sense to me that frieza would get one but uh, we'll have to see either way that is what i heard from goresh so take that as you will and that's all there is to talk about in this video guys obviously as far as the details go we gotta wait until either you know akatsuki bandai provides that information or we get the data download and the data miners will provide that info for us obviously when that information comes out i'll make another video to keep you guys in the loop but uh that's it guys yo let me know in the comments down below how far along in this process are you how long do you think it's going to take you to actually get everything done and uh, be able to take on the extreme z area event and get the medals because i feel really bad for the people that want this guy so bad like the fully extreme z awakened frieza but uh haven't done a lot of the prep work by the way for my global players out there if you're watching this as a global main uh do what you can to get a head start i did make a video uh, a couple weeks ago talking about the uh, units that we need to Extreme Z Awaken and get done for the uh, Prime Battle Goku Extreme Z area. So first do that and then if you can get started on some of these guys too. Like we can definitely get these guys pre uh, prepared. Um, you can still, I mean if you have the keys, you can farm at least the, the Bardock. You don't have the Doken Awakening yet of course or the Extreme Z Awakening but at least get him to SA10 and all that stuff. And then the same thing with the uh, Kaioken Goku. And also if you need the uh, incredible gems for the Krillin, then start farming those as well. Because uh, like I said, it's going to be a huge ordeal. It's a super long process, so might as well get started now, even if, even if it is like many, many months down the line for a global. But uh, that's all I got to say, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching once again. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, once again, once the information comes out for his Extreme Sea Awakening, which I do expect to be quite insane then uh, i'll be making another video for you guys to keep you in the loop as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.